guys, welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a tornado in Unity 3D. So this is going to be the tornado. It will be linked into the description on Dropbox. These are the objects that we're going to be using. By the way, if you want to download this full project, you can. Along with the full project, you'll have the particle system. So if I play this, you can see the object, objects get sucked up instantly. And if we move them any closer to the tornado, they get sucked up. So there we go out there. And they also destroy. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Now that we were we are in a new scene, what we can do is uh, pull the tornado prefab inwards. And this is what the tornado looks like right here. We have our main tornado. We have the dust particles, and then we have the second dust particle or the breath trail. So let's go ahead and do the tornado pulling part. So before we create the script, we need to create an empty key object called Tornado Vertex. And then we, can, we need to create a capsule game object. And then we need to scale this up to be about the size of the tornado. There we go. Duplicate it. Scale it up. And do this about four times. Five times. Okay, so once you've done that, put it under the tornado vertex as a child, and then put it under the tornado as a child. Name all of these tornado vertex child. Once you've done that, give them a trigger collider and remove the mesh renderer. Give the first guy closest to the tornado a tag of tornado, and then we, now we can get into the script. So. Create a new script called Tornado Vertex. There we go, that's good. Open it up. Okay, so now that the um, app is open, to do your editing, and so the script's open, basically say public void on trigger stay. Give it Properties of Collider. So, Collider. Cold. There we go. And then, in that, before um, we do anything in the tr trigger stay, we need to create a private game object. Pull OBJ, which means pull object. Then we need to create a public float force or a uh, pull speed whichever one you want or speed or whatever and then now what we need to do is say if collider dot game object uh, so coal because we have the on trigger state there so coal which means collider so collider dot game object dot tag equals equals pullable then basically after after we do that just say um Pool object equals collider dot game object. Then after that, we need to say pool object dot transform dot position equals vector three dot move towards, and we're going to move towards our pool object. Actually, I'm sorry, not move towards it. We're actually going to move the pool object. So we're going to say pull out the transform dot position. Then we're going to say comma, and then we're going to say this dot transform dot position. So basically move that object to this position. And then after you do that, say um, for speed or uh, pull speed, whatever you call the, the speed, times time dot delta time. All right. That is all that we need to do. So we are now finished with that whole part right there. So let's go back into Unity. Okay. So now what we need to do is assign this tornado vertex to every single um, of the tornado capsules. So the farthest one we're going to give 10. The force pull speed of 10, sorry. And the next one are 30, 40, 
uh, 60 and then 120. All right, so now we need to create a cube. Scale that, move it outwards. Give it a rigid body. Give it the tag of poolable. And now we're ready. So if we play this, instantly as you just now saw, it goes inwards. So let's pull it a little bit out and then move it towards it. So move it a little bit. Let's move it just in it. In the, yep, there we go. And then it goes right on in. So let's go ahead and create a wall about right at the tornado vertex wall. So about right there. Duplicate this over four times and then duplicate it up. So basically I'm just creating a wall to show you guys how cool it looks when the tornado is sucking things up. So there we go and then they all get sucked in and as you can see they're all in the middle which is not good. We need them to delete almost instantly. So on these on that game objects that are getting pulled in, we're going to add a script called, um, I'm just going to call it for now, uh, the pool object. You can change it any time you want, or just create it with a different name. Alright, so now that we open that up, we're just going to say public void on trigger enter. Collider, and then we're just going to name it instead of uh, coal, which means splatter, we're going to name it other, and we're just going to say if other dot game object dot tag equals equals tornado, then basically start quarantine death. All right. So in this quarantine of death here, um, let me create another one. There we go. So public IE enumerator death. We're gonna wait three seconds before destroying ourselves. All right. So that is basically all that it is. All that goes into making it tornado in Unity. Let me go ahead and show it a couple more times. So, tornado objects. Actually, we'll just call it pool objects. There we go. Put them all in there and play this. And if you see it correctly, there we go. And they all should destroy about now. So, let's just say we knocked a few of these over. Let's pull one there, one there. Make it a little bit more interesting. So they'll go all in almost at once. Here we go, that looks really cool. And then they'll delete, and then we can move each one in customly. There we go. You can change the four speeds of everything. So if everything was moving um, by itself, that would look a lot cooler. So let's see, a car would just come into your tornado uh, radius and get sucked up. As you saw in my Disaster Mayhem game. So yeah, that is how to create a tornado in Unity. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.